in the last couple of years as I was doing more analysis and more analysis, like it, when I first looked at it, I've got, I'm like, I've got no idea what I'm really looking for here when I first started filming people and analyzing it. And then just the more you do it, you t- pick up more. And, uh, and I, I, you know, similar for watching, if I've ever recorded myself, like the first video though, I looked at of myself, I was like, there's no way that, like, that's what I look like. Cause I thought, again, I thought, I, was, I thought, I thought I was perfect. You know, I've swum since I was a kid and all of that. And I look at it and go, oh man, there's a lot that I can work on here. But it's, for me, I found it just, it's really motivating to see those things that you need to change. Cause then if you actually know what you need to, to improve on, it just gets me to the pool that much easier because I'm motivated to get in and, and work on it. So that's why I think, and I don't do that much video analysis cause it's hard to find someone to record me <laughs> sometimes, but it's, yeah, yeah I, when I do it, it's like, yeah, okay, this is, this is great. Cause I can see oh, maybe there's half a second or a second here per hundred, if I can just improve this aspect of my catch. And it's actually, and what I say to the people when they come to our clinics is like it, 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 the people who are the worst swimmers, they're like, oh my God, I can't believe I look that way. But it's like, hey, you should be happy because you've got the most room for improvement. And, you know, there's some people there who are looking for half a second. Well, you know, you can find 10 or 20 or sometimes 30 seconds per hundred. So the worse you look, the more, you know, the more improvement there is, which is a good thing in, in a way. Well, so I'm actually curious. I got a question for you. Um, and I, I have no idea if you would be able to, to even give an estimate uh, from just watching that, that one video. But, um, when I was, uh, you know, swimming, you know, these threshold sets, sort of 115, 116. Um, and now I feel like I've changed a, a crap ton of things with my form. It just, everything sort of feels better. And, um, I'm still, I'm still swimming 112, you know, we're talking four, four seconds, a hundred. Um, and I've gained some fitness, and, but, like if I, if I woke up with a completely flawless technique, um, how, how much faster, like, do you think there is to go, you know, like how much is it, um, for me at this point or for somebody who has, you know, decent, there's a lot of things I can fix that, that would add up. Like you said, half a second here, a second there. Um, like are, are there, 12 seconds per hundred worth of things that I can fix that have nothing to do with fitness or is it more like, okay, there's four or five, but getting down to say hitting double O's and a threshold set, that's going to be mostly fitness or, you know, 50, 50, like how, how would you, Mm. how would you estimate, you know, what it takes to get to swimming double O's? Yeah. Gotcha. Definitely a combination of both, because if you think of this, the swim speed equation, you've got, your distance per stroke and then the rate at which you're taking those strokes. And so a good way to, a good way to kind of boil it down is you can see how many stroke, strokes it's taking you at the moment per 25 and then, and the rate at which you're taking them. So yeah, you know, sometimes you get it from your Garmin or you know, recording it, whatever, whatever it is. And then you can, you can look at it. And I think it's good to play around with those numbers as well. So let's say, Okay, it's a 25 yard pool. You're pushing off for, let's call it five yards. And so you're swimming for, for 20 yards. Uh, let's say you're taking 20 strokes. So you're moving one yard per stroke, just throwing numbers out there. Uh, and then let's say your stroke rate is, is one stroke a minute. Oh, sorry, one, one stroke a second. So you've got a, a rating of 60 strokes a minute. So if you sort of put those two numbers side by side, you can increase the stroke rate a little bit or you know, in- increase how far you're traveling each stroke. And that way you can sort of figure out what needs to happen to get down to that minute mark uh, because you know the, it'll basically spit out what you're currently doing with a, with a 112 